<laughs> oh god, I completely forgot I started this as the song of my of the pay-per-view. But anyway, everyone, welcome to Winter's War. We have eight matches scheduled for tonight, including a singles match, a couple of triple threat matches, a fatal four-way match, and of course our main event in the evening will be the world champion Scarecrow putting his belt on the line in Sub-Zero. Anyway, enough of the talking. Let's start off the first match of the evening. Slenderman versus Jeff the Killer for the Mortal Kombat Championship. If you guys don't remember uh, the stuff that preluded to this matchup, Jeff beat Adrian Coleman two episodes ago to win the Mortal Kombat Championship. And, of course, uh, Slenderman won the number one tendership for this shot, of course, because Adrian Coleman... Uh, is not available for this show tonight. He is uh, taking time to spend time with his family. So, he is not available for tonight. But, of course, he'll get the next shot at that championship when he is back. So like I said er, uh, earlier, before we just started this thing, uh, we got the main event of Sub-Zero versus, versus Starecrow for that world championship. That should be a good matchup, knowing what Starecrow's done the last few weeks. <sighs> got water with me. Jeez, does this thing load any slower? That's one problem I don't like about current gen. I like next gen more just because, I mean, not just because it looks better, just because uh, it loads a lot faster. But I don't feel like doing it on next gen because next gen has my other stuff. Anyway, let's, let's do it here. We're in Brooklyn, New York for this show. We're at the Barclays Center. And it's always a treat to go to Brooklyn for this, for any show, actually. And of course, Stirring things off, and here out comes Slenderman. Hopefully, uh, no one can find eight pages if uh, you get what I mean there. And of course, the Mortal Kombat champion, Jeff the Killer. This will be his first championship title defense since winning that thing from Adrian Coleman two episodes ago. Can Jeff retain his championship tonight, or will there be a new Mortal Kombat champion to kick off the show? Who knows? Let's find out. Here we go. Slenderman versus Jeff the Killer. Let's start it. And Jeff going to try to use the speed advantage over Slenderman. Of course, Slenderman is a lot bigger and more powerful than Jeff, but you know what killer tendencies both men have. Nice rib shot there by Jeff. And Jeff with another shot of the ribs. Jeff with that back breaker. And a beautiful move by Jeff. Jeff thinking about something here. He's going into the ropes of the apron. Jeff posing on the apron. Oh, and a right hand by Slenderman. And Slenderman with the right hand, the left hand this time. And we're going to start things off with a back suplex to the apron. It's a smart uh, tactic by Slenderman. Go for the back of Jeff. I don't know if Jeff can hit the go to sleep. Oh, God. When he has a bad back. But, man, he's got slammed into the apron. As Slenderman throws Jeff into the apron again. Two. And two count to Jeff. Remember, uh, you cannot change the championship via count out or disqualification. Unless there's a pre-cut. Uh, Stipulation. Nice jawbreaker there by Slenderman out of the ropes. Jeff, these punches and chops. Uppercut by Jeff. More punches by Jeff. Combinations. And a neck breaker by the champion. Going oh, a kick to the head by Slenderman. A block by the champ. Counter by. Uh, I was trying to say challenger, but Slenderman. Uh oh, Jeff thrown in the corner. Slenderman firing off repeated shots in the corner. And good God, he's battering him right in the corner. Oh, and Jeff's got busted open. He got caught good. Right at the top right corner of his head, and that alley oop did a lot to Jeff. Leg drop to Jeff there. Jeff's in big trouble right now. The champion is not looking good. He's busted open. 
and everything. Jeff back to his feet, slamming it back through. Nice right hand by Jeff. Oh, but eats an elbow to the head. Uh oh, choke slam. Coming up. Surprise choke slam. Is that enough for Slutterman to become the champ? No, Jeff kicks out. A big kick out by Jeff McCarran. Keeps the title. Leg drop missed. Jeff with blood near, getting near his eye. Can't twist the fate. Is that enough to retain the championship? Twist the fate. The cover one, two. No, Slutterman at two and a half. My question is how much of that blood's going to affect Jeff tonight, the one that's drizzling near his eyes. Going for go to sleep. Can he hit the go to sleep on Slenderman? He got it. The champ got the go to sleep. Can he win it here? One, two, no. Slenderman still able to kick out somehow. Oh my God, shot of the ribs. Jeff in the reversal. Jeff eats a kick. Oh, the choke. That choke is locked in by Slenderman. That choke hold. That can Jeff get out of the choke hold. Jeff trying to hang in there. He's again trying to get choked out by Slenderman. Ref's asking him, can Jeff get out of it? Oh, and Slenderman let go. Slenderman let go of the choke. Oh, vertical suplex for the champion. A cover by Slenderman. The crown of new champion. The cover. Hook the leg. No. And again, Jeff powers out at two and a half. Both men getting some resilient kickouts. Oh, another choke slam. Another one. A second choke slam. And now he's going for that choke hold again. And he locked in again, and he's got it locked in again. Can Jeff get out of this one? The second time it's locked in tonight. Can Jeff stay in it? Or is he going to have to pass or tap? He's still in this thing somehow. And Slenderman again lets him go. Jeff might be out of it. It's Bryson Slenderman did not go for a cover. Look out below. No, he could, and he missed. Jeff has repeated shots. Kick DDT. Jeff and Keller set them up. You have to believe Twist of Fate's coming up. A couple of shots. Another uppercut. Jeff throws Slenderman in the corner. Jeff has the arm, twisting it right into the ring ropes. Oh my goodness, right into the ropes. And, oh God, now he's just brutalizing him with his right hand shots in the corner. But that blood's really getting into Jeff's eye almost. And oh, choking him out in the corner of his foot. And now, if you think about any of this thing, twist of fate. He got it again. Can he win it now? One, two. No, Slenderman at two. Jeff is beside himself. Like well, I said, how much of that blood could get near the Je Jeff's eye and could get in it? Uh oh, another go to sleep coming up here. And he hit it again with a power of Slenderman too much. Went for an overhead punch, but no one home. Jeff dodged it. Jeff got caught again. Jeff's caught. Snake eyes. A snake eyes on the ropes. And now a third time as he looked to lock in that show hold for a third time in the match. Oh, he didn't get it there. Here he goes, choke slam blocked by Jeff. Jeff with the right hand. Jeff setting up again for go to sleep. A second, go, two, three. He got it again to retain his title. The one, the two, got it. Jeff is still the champion. What a win by the Mortal Kombat champion. Jeff somehow, someone pulls it off. Counters that choke hold and then he hits a second go to sleep to retain his title. What a win by the Mortal Kombat champion to keep his title. But that was without a hell of a fight by Slenderman. You gotta believe if he was able to lock in a third choke hold, that match would have been over. But no, Jeff counters it and then he hits a go to sleep for the win. Already champions are off to a one and one here tonight. Second match of the evening, the moral the immortal champion Juice World will face off with Leatherface. Juice has hold on to this thing since Marvel Ice. The question is, who will basically beat him for that title? Out of all champions we have in the company, Juice World is the longest reigning so far. Art was the uh Former longest reigning champion that we had. 
him and Rhett McLaughlin, but both of them, of course, lost their titles. And right now, Juice World's the one with the longest reign now. I believe he has one or two more weeks to pass Art for the longest reigning champion that we currently would have in the company. Because Art, he held that thing for a, long, a good amount of time. Of course, he had that big win streak that, of course, came to end at Climax at Japan, but who knows now what's going to go on. Yeah, I was expecting to see that on Facebook posting. I guess after this, I might do shoutouts and I might just grab a snack before the next match starts. Or maybe while this match is going, I might do that. Who knows? Here we go, second match. Let's start this thing. Shut up, ring announcer. And out comes Leatherface, trying to end the historical reign of Juice World. Leatherface is definitely a guy that could do that. He has had a shot at a championship before, but of course we know his rivalry with Jeff the Killer. Question is, can maybe both men be held, maybe uh, holding titles at the end of the night? Here we go. Leatherface versus Juice World for the immortal title. Juice with the, of course, the uh, speed and agility. And Leatherface with the power and, uh, well, insanity as well. He's also very unpredictable when it comes to his power. And here we go. We're going to show the power off here. Lifting up Juice World over his head with a gorilla press drop. It's that power. And Whoa, more power showing there and tossing him by his leg. Another face going up top. Splash, oh my god, off the top. Juice World's ribs, you gotta believe, might have been broken off of that splash. That's a big man coming off the top. And oh my god, kicks the ribs and a shot of the spine. Covered by Leatherface to win the title. One, no, and a kick out by the champ. Juice World's going to have to pull it completely out of nowhere if he wants to win this thing, retain his title. Oh my goodness, shot of the ribs with Leatherface. Nice counter. The champ with an elbow, kicks the leg. Dead AT. Nice combo with the champion. He's got the arm. Now he's going to stop at the hand of Leatherface. Juice World going for a springboard. Moon Salt. Got it. Looks to the right to the back of the spine of the challenger. Stop the arm. Oh, but a kick to that head's definitely gonna stop that by Leatherface. Leatherface, rip shot blocked by the champ of the knee. Juice Girl throws him to the corner. Juice putting him up to the top rope. This is very dangerous. What is this here? Top rope, oh, dog. Dangerous move by the champ, going for cover perhaps to retain his title. One, two, no. Kick at it, two and a half by Leatherface. Oh, here, he's going for a spring board. Centon, no one's home though. Juice World grabbed his neck. He got caught. Oh, my goodness, shot of the ribs. And now shots to the spine. And now an axe handle. And another one to the back from Juice World. Juice picked up by Leatherface. Punch to the head, German suplex. And now he's going to transition it into a Rainmaker, and he got it. And now the champ's in trouble again. Another face, second rope, splash! Oh my god, to the ribs again! How much more pain can the ribs of Juice World take? Oh, Juice World up two and a half, kicks out. You gotta believe one of those ribs gonna start bothering Juice World. He's taking a couple of those splashes. Right to the midsection. Yeah, ooh, that's got to hurt a lot. Went for the exploder. He missed. Juice got caught, though. Juice is thrown in the corner. Oh, and a kick right into the ribs. Ah, oh, this is not good. Oh, God. Side breaker. And he pitched him right back up to hit a second one. 
Oh my god, a splash! Another one in the ribs of Juice World. Spear! A spear by Juice World! Juice! A chop! The chops and overhead shots! A thrust to the throat. Going for that springboard, of, but Leatherface got right back up. Juice on the apron! Springboard! Misses the uppercut! Missed that uppercut! Oh god, no, 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 no! Leatherface top rope! Shot by the, ch by the champion. Oh god, diving down the last hand. Juice, it's STO. Juice has got the arm. Juice stomping the hand. Juice Swirl picking him up. Juice could be thinking Skullin. He got it, Skullin's locked in. Move that one of the title. How do we get due to the simple move, the Skullin? Oh wow, but Leatherface flipped out of it. Oh, and he just kicked him to the back. Leatherface has the champion up. Rams of spine first and the turbuckles. Oh no. The champ's in big trouble. Get the champion out of it, perhaps, as we're gonna see. And it's Splutter. It's Splutter connected. Can Leatherface just get in the cover? All Leatherface has to do is get in the cover, and he might be champion. The cover, breath in position, one, two, three. We got ourselves a brand new immortal champion. Leatherface has ended the reign of Juice World. He hits that exploder on him to win the title. And finally, Leatherface can call himself a champion. It took a long time, or I should say a little while to win his first championship and look what he and look what it brought him. It brought him the Immortal Championship. So now both Jeff the Killer and Juice and um, Leatherface have now titles with them, which is insane. To think back they had a rivalry and uh, that thing was insane. Alright, oh it looks like I'm going to the ring. I guess I'll see you boys later. It looks like I'm taking on uh, Johnny Cage. As I have so, uh, Clark Kent probably do commentary for me. Oh uh, yes, hello everybody. It's me. Yes, it's me, Clark Kent. I'm here to do the uh, commentary now for Marcus. Of course, he's going down to the ring to face off with Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat, which is something I just uh, I cannot believe that uh, Marcus will be facing Johnny Cage tonight, since Johnny Cage is one of Marcus's favorite characters in Mortal Kombat. But knowing how uh, good of a wrestler Marcus is, and uh, of course he is the SWW World Champion over in uh, Shockwave Pro Wrestling. And of course he's a former three-time or two-time MSW World Champion, and a CTL Tag Team Champ, and a CTL United States Champion. With the resume of Marcus yet, we believe that this is this could be an advantage for him, but knowing Johnny Cage, he is a former Mortal Kombat Champion, and uh... A man that has charisma, a lot of charisma, Johnny Cage does. Uh, he was a former Hollywood actor, or still is, and of course military specialist ever since Mortal Kombat uh, 9 ended. And knowing how Johnny Cage fights, he's not afraid to fight Derrick if he has to, and of course you know he has that deadly shadow kick. And so here we go. So, of course, comes uh, Marcus first to the ring for this matchup, and it's Johnny Cage. He's coming out to one of his uh, favorite arenas in the world, or should I say just in the United States, but he loves this place in the world, and that's uh, the Barclays Center in New York City. Or, say, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, even though he hasn't been there in real life, uh, he would like he would love to see a Brooklyn Nets game there. But, of course, Marcus saluting to the Brooklyn cloud. Got a tough match tonight. He's facing Johnny Cage. Man of the shadow kick. Man of that split nut punch of his. And full of charismatic and charisma. Here we go, Marcus and Johnny Cage, one on one. And here we go, the match is started. Marcus has the armor cage, drops down. Marcus off the ropes. Face Buster by Marcus. Marcus stop, moved by Johnny Cage. Cage 
Uh oh, Sky right into a power slam. Nice slam by Marcus. Marcus is right hand. Sends Cage on the ropes. Nice elbow by Cage. Blocked by Marcus. Marcus. Hooks both his arms. Stump puller. Right to Johnny Cage. Not like a morbid stump puller. Or Candace Jacks, but it's definitely a actual move. This combo shots by Marcus on the uppercut. Marcus blocked by Cage. Johnny eats his kick to the ribs. Cage is the right hand. And Marks again following him some combos of his. Nice uppercut again. You have to believe the martial art type of background. Marcus is helping him out a lot. And Cage is on the floor. And the referee holding Marcus back from going out to the outside to face Cage. Cage is back in the ring face off Marcus. Cage flying off the shots, but a block by Marcus, blocked by Cage. Cage ducked by Marcus. Marcus, oh, headlock, take down. And holding on with it there. And Johnny pulls him off. Marcus has the arm. Oh, now he's biting at the hand. Johnny Cage with fingers. Marcus, second rope here. Went for the senton, but he missed. He uh, didn't really get good enough jump off of that. Shot by Cage, blocked by Marcus. Marcus blocked by Cage. Cage now trying to fight back. Springboard, back elbow. If he waited back in the match, a springboard, nice knee to the back of Marcus. And an elbow by Cage. Cage is now getting into this thing again. Johnny Cage, right hand blocked by Marcus. Marcus, an overhead shot. Marcus, combination of shots and kicks. Of course, definitely part of his martial arts background. Pop-up punch by Marcus. Double stop by Marcus, connects again. Now heading up with that vertical suplex blocked by Cage with his own. Johnny Cage picked up Marcus. Cage, right hand in the face, blocked by Marcus. Marcus setting it up. South side, reverse into an inverted DDT by Cage. Beautiful counter by Johnny Cage off south side. Cage. Johnny. Oh, version of cross face applied around Marcus. Why not use the submissions? That'll help. Marcus drops through the hole. Marcus takes a shot to his ribs. And now another springboard. Now, oh, cross body overshot. Marcus from behind, shot from the back of Cage, throws Cage over the top rope onto the floor near the announce tables. Cage grabbing his lower back. Marcus going to follow Cage to the outside. Marcus, knee right on the floor to Cage. And double stop again, Cage on the floor. Marcus picking up Johnny Cage. Oh, what was that? Trying a little bit of a callback to Eddie Kingston with that back fist. Or should say like a or not Eddie Kingston, more of a Chris Jericho the version of like a juice effect. Marcus Purse on the top rope. Marcus is not afraid to high risk sometimes he has to. Cross body on the floor. I think Marcus didn't miss that. Of course, you know Marcus uh, has had a, of course he has a couple of back injuries that he's worked through from his wrestling career. Marcus, uh, whoa, Cage. Big Mount with some forearm shots. Look out! Atomic drop for Marcus. Johnny Cage hits a body slam, and Cage is coming to his fight back into this match. Marcus, ooh, running drop kick to the knees. Slam move by Marcus. And cover one, two, no, Cage at two and a half. Marcus, think, trying to end it. Whoa, Cage reverses it. Cage, small package, one, no, and a kick out by Marcus. Cage is playing possum there. Johnny, shadow kick. The shadow kick by Johnny Cage. Cage hits the shadow kick. The question is, is that enough to defeat Marcus? Covered by Cage for the win. One, two. No, Marcus at two and a half. Cage trying to take up the arm now. Cage has Marcus right where he wants him now. Oh God, stomp right in the forehead of Marcus. And just big time shots to the head by Johnny Cage. Cage won't top. Looking for a dangerous move, the splash. No, Marcus guys knees up. Cage went out of the 
away. Cage from Larry, ducked by Marcus. Pop up punch by Marcus. Again, trying to take out the arm of Cage. And it's more by that in the hand of Johnny Cage. Now he's setting up for Rip City or that fist of the god. No, he's going to hit Rip City. Rip City to Johnny Cage. A cover for the win, perhaps. No, Johnny at two. Marcus pulling Johnny to the center of the ring. I don't know what they're doing. Cage moves out of the way. Johnny Cage. Great to the eyes. All that Sancher nut punch by Johnny Cage. Oh, and another shadow kick. Another shadow kick to Johnny Cage, by Johnny Cage. A cover. One, two, no, Marcus again at two. Kicks out of that shadow kick. And oh, slamming Marcus's head in the ring mat. Johnny Cage is giving it to Marcus. Marcus takes out the knee, nice kitchen shake by Marcus. Marcus, the second Rip City on Johnny Cage. The cover by Marcus to beat Johnny Cage. One, two, three. And Marcus has defeated Johnny Cage in a nice matchup. A great match with Johnny Cage that was. Both men had a great match. And Marcus is able to defeat Johnny Cage in a very good matchup. All right, Clark, you can go back to stage now. Thanks for that. All right, well, uh, thanks, Marcus, for letting me do commentary. As uh, I don't know if I'm interviewing interview tonight. I don't know. You may or not there, Clark. But uh, anyway, have a good rest of your day there, buddy. Anyway, uh, I just say, uh, Johnny, that was a pretty match you gave to me, man. That was a good fight. You gave it to me, and, uh, and uh, I'm happy to give you a rematch at any point you want. Anyway. Now we move on to the Infinity Championship matchup as Freddy Krueger must defend his title in a fatal four-way elimination match. It is uh, The challengers are Will Smith, Michael Myers, and the Joker. Uh, apparently our management team was very, uh, was very uh, impressed by the triple threat match they had last episode of Thursday Night's Warfare. And they decided why not give all three men a shot at the championship. And... Uh, Freddy, they, they talked to Freddy about it, and Freddy said, well, I mean, hey, that's fine with me. I mean, he gives me more victims to play with. And of course, you know what the, uh, the, uh, the management team thought about that when, Cre when Freddy Krueger said that to them. Uh, should I do a shout-out right now? I might do, yeah, shout-outs, why not? I'll give some shout-outs right now. Shout-outs to, of course, the Raiders. Vampiro 712 Shockwave Wrestling Franchise Gaming Iron Taylor Dust Killer 30 Prince Macau All those boys did shoutouts Like I said I wouldn't be doing this If it wasn't for them uh, Other shoutouts uh, Let's do shoutouts uh, just, uh, just Shoutouts to games I'm hyped for This year uh, This will be mainly Xbox Because I don't own a PlayStation or a Nintendo Switch. Uh, definitely Atomic Heart is one of the games I'm looking forward to the most this year. I get that on Game Pass. Uh, AEW Fight Forever. When that comes out, uh, I'll be definitely be playing that on this channel. Uh, kind of hyped for SpongeBob. The new SpongeBob coming out in January uh, this month. Uh, I was a big SpongeBob gamer back then when I was a kid. And with the new game coming out, it looks a lot like the older games, which is great to see. Resident Evil 4 Remake, of course, because Resident Evil 4 is a great game. Uh, Wulong Fallen Destiny, that looks really good coming out on Game Pass. And there's a lot of other really good games that I'd like to pick up, like Dead Space. That remake's coming out this month. Uh, I won't be getting that. Uh... A game that I definitely would be picking up coming out in February would be uh, Hogwarts uh, Legacy. 
coming out on the February the 9th through next-gen consoles, of course, because the other versions got pushed to April. Looks like a great game, even though I'm not really be I'm not I'm not really a Harry Potter fan, but just the gameplay of that and the story that they and the open world that they can create from that is just looks so great right now. As uh, let's set it back to the ring for that match. Back here, Barclay Center for that matchup. That fatal four-way elimination match for the Infinity title. There's the Joker. Two-time Mortal Kombat champion coming out of the ring. Could win his, uh, another championship tonight. Who knows, especially when it comes to Joker. So Will Smith, a former Infinity champion, could be looking through to win it for a second time in his The uh, powerful Michael Myers setting up for the ring here. He hasn't won a title in the company yet, but this would be a good time to win his first title. And of course, the champion. The Infinity Champion, Freddy Krueger. Freddy has been champion ever since the Thursday Night's Warfare after Climax at Japan when he defeated CJ Carl Johnson to win the championship. Can Freddy Krueger retain his belt tonight in this fatal four-way? Who knows? And here we go. Fatal four-way for the Infinity title. Joker, Will Smith, Michael Myers, and champion Freddy Krueger. Let's do this thing. Out of matches tonight, I could see this one being the longest. Who knows? We also have a tag team match, I believe, after this one. Shot by Krueger. Choker's going after Myers as, oh, Will got thrown into Choker who's on the top rope. And Freddie and Will Smith going at it. Freddie's going to hit a brain buster. Good God, a brain buster this early in the match is nuts. And Myers. Oh, just punt Joker right in the ribs. He got him up on the ropes on the right hand of the Joker as Will Smith's taking a lot of abuse from Freddie Krueger. Well, rubbing his glove right against the head of uh, Will Smith. That's a nice tickle of calf by the Joker. And a neck breaker by, Mike, by Joker, Michael Myers. Kicks the leg of Freddy Krueger by Will Smith. Krueger is kicked him in the corner and a shot of the back of Will Smith. Will's leg just got punted into the ring ropes by Freddy Krueger. Nice kick counter by Will Smith as Michael Myers is picking up the Joker. Freddy's got rid of an exploder, but he got caught with Joker in his side break. Will Smith, oh, with a head scissors of Joker, and got hit with a claw slam. Grand screw by the Joker. Joker, it's reversal by the Joker. Here's Joker beating down on Myers with the at Shot him back. Whoa! Now, punt a shot to the spine there, Freddy, but a kick by Freddy to Will Smith. And Shoker is now trying to take out the arms of Michael Myers. I mean, I don't know if Myers can offer your choke slam against bad arm. He's the spine of Myers. Freddy, the kick. Freddy, claw. Mike, oh, the nightmare claw is locked in by Freddy Krueger. Is Will Smith going to get out of the claw of Freddy Krueger? Kruger, oh, the shots by Smith trying to fight out of it. He punched the lights out. Oh, man, a claw slam again by Myers. And Freddy's thrown to the outside over the top rope by Smith. Covered by Will Smith. Can he eliminate the joke? Can he eliminate the champion? No, Freddy kicks out as Myers has a sidewalk slam. Not like his signature version of sidewalk slam, but it's a heck of a move. Will Smith, Skyrider on Freddy Krueger. Is Freddy in trouble? Is the champion going to be eliminated soon? Joker. Myers spins him around. Myers going off that sidewalk slam. is blocked by the Joker. Will Smith's going to top and he can't. Now he's snap breaker by the Joker. What a moonsault, but Will Smith missed. Dearly. 
DDT's never gonna miss though. The choker, the kick, off the ropes. Big shot, and so Will Smith hit the slap on Freddy Krueger. Cover to the feet. Michael Myers, Myers kicks out of the uh, kick to the ribs and the throat thrust by the Joker. Will Smith with Freddy Krueger, backstabber. Joker, oh man, code breaker. Joker with the code breaker. Joker, code breaker, maybe take out Myers, but no Myers kicks out. Freddy's got the leg. Oh, big catch to the ribs by the Joker. And an elbow right to the head of Michael Myers. And Joker feeding on Michael right now. Nice purple suplex by the champion, Freddy Krueger. Whoa, what a Larry. The Joker. Joker's in trouble. I thought Myers was up for a choke slam. And Paler DDT. Joker with an Paler DDT. Okay. Oh, broken up by Will. Breaks in the eyes by Freddy with a low blow. Freddy Krueger with a low blow. And Joker with a knee to the head of Michael Myers. Will kicks out somehow on that. Another knee to the head of Michael Myers by Joker. And Freddy. I mean, Michael won. one. I don't know how he kicked out of those two on one. Kicks right to the end of Myers. I think Myers has got blood dripping out of his mask. Probably from his own blood. Joker is trying to hit the killing Joker off the clock by Myers. Oh, takedown by Myers. And Myers is thinking choke slam. Is Michael Myers going to hit the choke slam? He's got the throw. Choke slam. A choke slam to the Joker. Joker eliminated here, who knows? Joker's still in it. Oh, the choke STO by Freddy Krueger. And now Krueger, thinking about a nightmare slam maybe perhaps. Freddy Krueger, the nightmare slam by Freddy Krueger. Krueger, eliminate Will Smith, Smith's gone. Sidewalk slam to the Joker by Michael Myers. Went for a choke slam, ducked it was Freddy Krueger. Krueger shots to the ribs of Michael Myers. And now Freddy, oh, reversed by Myers. Joker Tawny in the corner. There's a Joker in that showboating style of his. Freddy with an overhead shot has Myers in the corner. Oh, but an elbow shot there by Myers, but Joker. Drop him with a DDT. And what is Freddy doing? More big time shot by Kruger is Joker now, Tawny again. He's countered by Myers on Freddy Kruger. Myers covers Freddy to eliminate the champion. And no, the champ's still in this thing. Joker in the corner, waiting for something to happen. Joker off the ropes, that uppercut right to that like open palm uppercut by the Joker to eliminate Michael Myers. Myers again is doing this thing, he kicks out. The Joker got caught, Joker got caught in a sleeper hold. A sleeper hold by Freddy Krueger. Can the Joker fight out of the sleeper hold? And Joker passes out. That leaves Michael Myers and the champion Freddy Krueger to still be in this thing. Can Michael Myers take out Krueger? Or will Krueger still be champion? Go for a choke slam. He got the choke slam. Michael Myers to win his first title. A cover. Hopes of the lane. Got it. We got a new Infinity champion. And his name was Michael Myers. Michael Myers has done it. He's finally slayed the demons. He has won his first title here. He has finally won his first title here. Takes out, well, oh, Freddy turned out Joker. And Freddy turned out Will Smith. So Freddy turned out two people. But Michael Myers takes out Freddy Krueger with that choke slam. And Michael Myers has slayed the demons. He has won his first title. And it's the Infinity Championship. And it was here tonight in a Winter's War. He done it. And now our big tornado tag match. Best friends, Rhett.
McLaughlin and Link Neal take on their good brothers, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. Or should I say the machine gun Carl Anderson? If you're going by his New Japan name. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll have a Rice Tracy Square, I guess, before this match starts. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to wait. I was going to have something later. This should, I, I definitely know that this don't mean to match. These two teams are good teams, of course. Uh, if you don't know who the Good Brothers are, I'm surprised if you're a wrestling fan. If you don't know who Gallows and Anderson are, if you don't know them from their New Japan days, you know them from their WWE run, or you know them for their TNA run, or their Combat New Japan, or Combat WWE. We'll say their Combat in WWE has not gone very well for them, since their leader of, their, of the OC, AJ Styles, went down with an ankle injury. Not just any ankle injury. Uh, ankle injury. He got a broken ankle during a house show. He'll be on the shelf. He will miss Royal Rumble. And, uh... Who knows if he's going to be able to fight at WrestleMania. Because of the broken ankle. I mean, broken ankles are terrible. Especially for a wrestler. That is not good for the to suffer a broken ankle. <sighs> there we go. There's some water before this match. Ugh. Uh, if, if you want to know the story of this match. So the story of this match is, of course, Rhett McLaughlin has a fatal four-way match for his championship. Loses his belt to Starecrow. And then in the match that he's about to uh, try to get a, a shot against the champion Starecrow for tonight's pay-per-view. Of course, that was three episodes ago. And, of course, we all know what happens. We heard that Link got attacked backstage by some unknown people. And then in the main event, of that match, the machine gun Carl Anderson come out, distracted Rhett, and helped Sub-Zero beat Rhett McLaughlin. And of course, and uh, he, Carl Anderson came out, told him, told everyone in the whole world that he was, the, him and Doc Gallows attacked Link backstage for the match. And Link was the man that set this challenge up for tonight, and let's see who's going to walk out with a victory. Of course, out first is Link Neal. You can see Link is definitely back to full health after that attack by Dallas and Anderson a few episodes ago. But the question still remains is, are we sure that he's 100% from that attack? And the second man, of course, uh, part of that team, Rhett McLaughlin, the former world champion, Rhett McLaughlin. He was beaten by Scarecrow in a fatal four-way elimination match on episode Thursday Night's Warfare where he got the back of his head slammed into concrete near the ramp, and he put the fear claw as well, and that's how he lost his belt. And he's been determined ever since to win back that championship. There's Doc Gallows. One half the good brothers. See what Doc Dallas has in store tonight for the Rhett and Link. Of course, now a dominant of a team the Good Brothers are, especially when they're in their first run in New Japan, and uh, the run in TNA was pretty good, too. Now comes the machine gun, the former never open weight champion, Carl Anderson. Uh, Carl Anderson lost his uh, never open weight title, too. Tom Tonga at Wrestle Kingdom 17. It was a good match, even though I had a funny botch at the end of the uh, match. But still, it was a good match from a great pay-per-view in Wrestle Kingdom 17. And like I said, spoiler alert, Wrestle Kingdom's going to be better than uh, Royal Rumble this month, and so far, I'm going to say that's correct. Here's 
here we go. Brett and Link versus Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. Who's walking out with the victories? Anderson and Link going at it as Gallows and Brett going at it. That's pretty simple. That makes sense. Have the two big guys go at it. Uh, as apparently Doc, uh, Carl Anderson didn't take off his hat or bullet club jacket for this match. It's very surprising. Nice form shot by Link to Carl Anderson. Anderson's just like, dropped and is sent on by Link. As the two best friends are right now in control by Carl Anderson with a DDT to Link. Carl Anderson armed with that dangerous gun stun. Gets that in the match, I think, tonight is basically over. Oh, what a knee by Gallows to Rhett the lock. And Gallows, so much toss there to Rhett the lock. As Anderson's now on the floor. Rhett just missed a big time shot. Gallows, nice counter by Rhett. Anderson, to, oh man, he's not slammed on the floor by Link Neal. Link misses a roundhouse, but he hit a gut kick instead. Doc Gallows. Nice slam from Rick Rock. As Link has a uh, brutalizer locked in on the floor. I don't know why he need a brutalizer on the floor. As uh, Carl Anderson got out of that one. Brett with a neck breaker in the ring. Carl Anderson going to hit Snake Eyes on Link on the eight. Rep with an elbow misses, and Anderson's going to try to, to take out the air with Link. Gallows blocked by Red. And now an arm bar by Carl Anderson. Anderson going completely after the arm of Link. Link's arm getting bent in bad ways right now by the machine gun, Carl Anderson. And. Link on out, but here comes Brett trying to take out Anderson. Link, thrown there by Anderson to the floor. It Doc Gallo to the former world champion on the floor. Link and Anderson are now in the ring. This is dangerous. North and right there by Anderson. Carl Anderson, a snap there to Link Neal. Link in big trouble. Brett thrown in the barricade. Brett. Gallows there. I think we're going for a power bomb to the apron. An insane hit. Now Gallows and Rhett are fighting on the concrete. That was not good for Rhett. You remember what happened to him. Uh oh. Bang! Super kick. To Carl Anderson. And she's hung up onto the corner. Tornado kick to Carl Anderson. Is the machine gun out of it? Brett with a spin there, nice dishes punch. Is the machine gun out of it from that big time tornado kick by Link Neal, the cover. The one, the two. No, Carl Anderson kicks out as Gallows getting a bit open on the outside by Brett Block. Nice former shot by Link as Brett. Ball way slam on the floor. It's not really Aaron McWolfman. Link top rope. Is he thinking? Good miss the elbow. And he hit it on Carl Anderson. No, and Anderson moved out of the way. Anderson moved out of the way. Rocket kick. Rocket kick by Carl Anderson. Is Carl Anderson going to win it right here for his team? Carl Anderson with a rocket kick. The cover. There's two. No, Link kicks out of the rocket kick. Anderson, nice block by Link. Oh, Emerald Flosion by Link. Brett the Earth Shatter and Spine Buster to Doc Gallows. And a tornado kick to Anderson. Is that enough to take out the Good Brothers? No, at Gallows is still in this. Oh, and ground a pound by Doc Gallows. Cover on Anderson. Kick out by Anderson. Oh, what a kick by Doc Gallows. And Gallows says right now has Brett in trouble. Counter by Brett though. Gallows going that Gallows pulling. It was blocked by Brett Lockman. Nice 
Backbreaker by Rhett. Oh, and a big shot by Anderson. Apparently Anderson snaps suplex. Oh, and a right hand by Anderson out of nowhere. Carl Anderson going for a knee drop to the arm, and he got it. And Brett with a dominator on Doc Dallows. And Reflosion was reversed. First shattered spine buster to Doc Gallows. Is that enough to eliminate, or should I say take out the Good Brothers? And the Brett and Link have defeated the Good Brothers. A second earth-shattering spine buster to Doc Dallos and Rhett and Link have gotten revenge against the Good Brothers. But I don't see this rivalry against these four men ending anytime soon. Link and Rhett defeat the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows with Rhett pinning Doc Gallows after that spine buster. But who knows what we'll see Next time when these men collide in the ring. As now we have the number open weight championship with threat match. The champion Dr. Dre puts his belt in line against Deputy Dewey Riley. And Dennis Robin is waiting said, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. As um apparently um the Good Brothers have just attacked right and late backstage after the match has happened. What the hell? As now, Carl Anderson just grabbed the kendo stick for some reason. I don't know why the cameras are not showing this. And he just grabbed a kendo stick and he just nailed the spine of Link Neal with a kendo stick. And oh my god, he's picked him up and hit him with a gun stun after that. And now the Good Brothers have a 2 on one advantage against Rhett McLaughlin. And oh god, don't do this. And now Magic Killer to Rhett McLaughlin. How the hell are... Did the, how the hell did the cameras not get, not pick that up? Did someone forget to take off the camera lenses? I'm getting this this type of my own feed by a different type of, uh, let's just say, media. As now, oh, not again. And now they just picked up Red again, and now they just put him right near a table. As though, my God, Magic Killer through a table. Like I said, I guess the cameras backstage uh, didn't have their lenses take off. It's Rutt McLaughlin has been hit with two match killers and one right through a table. And now they just hit one on Link right onto a chair. The Good Brothers. Oh, wait, so now they just stole the microphone from, from Clark Ken. And now Rutt and Link. This is Doc, well, Doc Gallus here. Me and Carl Anderson feel like we were wrongly approved of this match. We didn't lose this match, even though I got pinned, even though we, you might say we lost the same, but that's one. We, you guys just won one battle. Just one. Just one battle you guys won. Brent McLaughlin, I challenge you to a match next week. On Thursday Night's Warfare, you and me, Doc Ellis versus Brent McLaughlin. And I, I've been told that Carl Anderson wants to face Link Neal. As well next week. It's good brothers versus best friends versus say terrible friends and Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal. And we're gonna beat you guys next week one on one to show that without each other you guys can't win a damn thing. Good brothers out. Well, what the hell was that backstage? Again, people forgot to take off the freaking camera lenses backstage. That's why I didn't see that attack, but my god. It's a brutalized beatdown by both by both Good Brothers on Brent and Link as here comes Dewey Riley from Scream. Coming to the ring. He earned this shot because he beat the champion, Dr. Dre, last week. With a little bit of help from Drake to win the match. Of course, Dennis Rodman beat Drake to the end of this thing. There's Dennis Rodman. Of course, Dennis Rodman defeating Drake in the opening match last week with help from the champion, Dr. Dre. To get the shot tonight. This would have been a one on one match if Dewey Riley didn't beat Dr. Dre with help from Drake last week. Of course, Rodman throwing the two speed, 
for some NWO. Main tribute to his buddy Scott Hall. RPI to him. And there's the champ, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre's been champion since climax that Japan. Can he retain his belt drying and sleeves two men who are determined to win their first title? Dewey and Dre going at continuing their match from last episode. Dewey. Oh, what a running farm in the corner right to Dr. Dre. He is pumped up in this match, but here comes Dennis Rodman. Rodman with the back suplex to Dewey. First the Dennis Rodman's got that size and power advantage as an NBA player. One of the greatest rebounders in NBA history and a great ass defender as well. What a knee right to the back of the net from Rodman by the champion, Dr. Dre. Dre trying to use some ground mouth style on Rodman. Combos here by Dr. Dre. As Dre's just decided, why not? I'm just going to keep a sweater on for this match. Might keep me a little warmer. And Rodman flexing to Dr. Dre. Showing that he can go to the grind as well. Dewey has Dre on the ropes, but Dewey's got Rodman. Whoa, toss with that suplex toss by Dewey. Rodman rolling to the outside, gained composure. Dre has pitch shots. Dr. Dre, the champion, has him in the corner. Oh, double kick to the head by Dewey to Dr. Dre. Oh, knockout shot there by Dewey. Dewey going to top. He got the champ, baby. Rodman back into the ring. Look out, here's Rodman. That's always a problem we have to watch out for. Dennis Rodman. Dive to the last tail and only was home for that. And Rodman's thrown over the top roll. And Dewey's now got Dre to himself. He's taking him out with the shoulder. And Dewey. Side breaker. Got it. Next one will pick him up again. And hit a second side breaker there on. Oh, Dre. Oh, my God. With a back body drop by Dennis Rodman. Now Rodman blocked by Dewey. Dewey. Has Rodman up. Oh, super shot block. Shot by Rodman. Rodman with an elbow. Rodman blocked. Dewey. Final shots to Rodman, but here comes Dre. Dr. Dre, big shot by Rodman. Dennis Rodman over first. Dewey with a high knee. Now it's another suplex toss to Dr. Dre by Dewey. Dewey in control of this matchup. Dewey. Has him up, Fireman's carry gut buster by Dewey. And Dewey to be sent away maybe from winning a championship. And if hurt ain't for no one's home. Trey, what a slam. What a slam by the champ. Rodman got blocked. Here comes Dr. Trey. Champion throws Rodman to the corner. And oh, a corner shot there by the Oh, the boot to the back of the head of Dennis Rodman by Dr. Dre. Dre beat down Rodman. Single arm suplex. Dr. Dre didn't go for a cover. I'm surprised. Stunner made grab block. Rodman with the big boot. Dennis Rodman. He's likely to end this already. Dennis Rodman. The NWO bomb. Dennis Rodman for the championship. One, two, no, broken up by Dr. Dre. And two-headed choke toss by Dennis Rodman. Rodman again taking out the leg of Dr. Dre. Smart thing taking out the leg, because I don't know if Dre can lift his leg up high enough and his legs really hurt. Back elbow by Dre to Rodman. Rodman eating these combos by Dre. Rodman's head slid into the mat by Dr. Dre. Dre sweeps the leg of Dewey. Oh, that's handled to Rodman. Rodman's down. Dr. Dre set the road. Misses it. Rodman, another two-handed choke toss. No, it's reversed with an arm drag. Dre didn't counter enough the time. Rodman throws him in the corner. Dennis Rodman has the head. And, oh, right in the turnbuckles. 
reversal by Dre. Dre missed. Dre the boot again. This time knocks down Rodman. Dr. Dre, he just did cover on Rodman. He's pulled to the center of the ring. He covers Dennis Rodman to retain his championship. Broken up by Dewey. Another big slam to Dewey by Dr. Dre. Dre picks up. Or is say Dr. Dre picks up Dewey and at the top of drop to Dewey. Rodman throwing too sweet in the corner. Why would you do that, man? Now a drop of block by Dennis Rodman. Pop up. Oh, gut buster to Dennis Rodman. Tends on the leg, Dennis Rodman. Dewey from behind on the Larian. Dewey has Dre in trouble. Dewey springboard cross body and he got it. Dewey. Think about the end of heartache to the champion. He take out Dr. Dre. Dre reverses the shot to the gut. But he misses the lariat to Dewey. Dewey caught Dre out of nowhere with that gut buster again. And Dewey just covered Dr. Dre to become champion. Roughed up by Rodman. Oh, and oh, heartache to Dennis Rodman. And of heartache to Dennis Rodman, broken up by Dre. Might have been over right there. He almost got him. And a boot to Dewey. Oh my God, no. The big boot to Dewey. The cover. Well, I'm broken up by Dennis Rodman. Rodman breaking up that cover. Keep this thing alive. And now this punching combination in the corner to Dennis Rodman for the champ. Oh. And here comes now the oop to Dennis Rodman. And now he's saying bring it on and oh, big shots by Dr. Dre to Dewey. Oh, headlock punch. And now, oh, Colbert clutch. Colbert clutch, waste a nice reversal by Dewey. But Dr. Dre, and he missed. Dr. Dre, what's Dewey in the corner? Dre, Rodman on the second rope here. Oh, what a shot to Rodman. Eating these big shots to Rodman. Oh, Rodman reverses, kick to the head. Counter by Dre. Rodman with no elbow. Here comes Rodman. Rodman with a big shot. Rodman, eating these big shots, but no Dre. Elbow there by Dewey. Oh, but here's Dennis Rodman. Caught him out of the oil and he's not flipped off by Dr. Dre. And now Dennis Rodman connects. Those big shots there, Rodman. Oh God, pile driver. A pile driver, Rodman. But Dennis Rodman got right back up for a pile driver. Are you kidding me? How did Dennis Rodman get right back up on a big Larry? The Dr. Dre. Always slam to Dennis Rodman. Great fighting back here. Dewey's in trouble. And Dewey with the elbow shots. Dewey. All he needs is one good shot and this thing's over. And Dr. Dre is fighting out of that gut buster. Rodman throws it too sweet. Dr. Dre. Then your vertical suplex here to Dewey. And he got the he got that vertical suplex. And now it's, now wait a second, Dewey. Toss there to, to Dr. Dre by Dennis Rodman. Rodman with a headbutt. Rodman's trying to end it, but he couldn't get that powerbomb time. And now Rodman's in trouble. Dewey, thinking end of heartache. Can he hit it? On Dennis Rodman, he got it. Dewey, he just did the cover. Cover by Dewey. The cover one, two. Dennis Rodman! How did Dennis Rodman just kick out of that? Dennis Rodman just barely able to kick out of that. Rodman's down. The elbow. Dennis Rodman moves out of the way. Rodman. Oh, Dewey. His big shots and combo strikes to Dennis Rodman. Oh, the boot by the champ. No. Not like this. Not like this. No, after what just all happened, the boot by Dre. Is it going to end this thing? Over. 
Rodman broke it up. The boot to Rodman. Is that enough? The Dodgers are trying to finally get a cover on someone. The rope break, saving the match. Rodman. Going for a double team on Dennis Rodman. But Rodman flies heads. Rodman, gun, wrench. Reversal though by Dre. Shot from the back of Rodman. Rodman thrown over the top rope. Dre though got caught. Dr. Dre got caught. Take a power bomb maybe. No one blocked by Dr. Dre. Now Dr. Dre is going to hit the Luthes. And you have to believe this thing's over. Is the feel good story over for Dewey? Broken up by Rodman. Oh, Rodman caught him. Rodman caught Dre. Out of nowhere, Dr. Dre set up for a ride. The NWO bomb. Did Dr. Dre, is that not no broken up by Dewey? Dennis Rodman, so close to winning the title. No, Dewey, gone out of it. Dewey from behind. With a shot on the back of Rodman. Dewey picks up Rodman. Rodman dropped out of the top ropes. Knee left, no one home. From behind, going for the Cobra Clutch. The Cobra Clutch leg sweep. Dre thought he was going for the boot, but he wasn't. Rodman throws spine first to the back, right to the turnbuckle. Reversal by Rodman. Rodman the elbow, no one home. Oh, the boot! He got the boot again for a third time on Rodman. And this time, there's no Dewey to break it up. One, two, three. Dr. Dre pins Rodman off a third boot to win and retain his belt. But my God, that was a fight and a half. All three men had chances to win the title at different moments, but Dewey was closest where Rodman just barely kicked out before three. But Dr. Trey just barely is able to hang on to his title. Now we go on to our final two matches of the evening. First up, the YouTube title on the line. Snoop Dogg puts his belt on the line against Art the Clown. And here we go. Snoop's in for the fight of his life, especially as champion. You know what dangerous Art the Clown was when he was the uh, YouTube champion. The Dwight and Art the Clown become champion for a second time in his career. Especially how dangerous Art was. We all remember what Art was when he was the YouTube champion. He won so many matches. He, he went on like a nine or eight match winning streak before he finally lost it. To uh, Wayne Campbell at Climax at Japan. And now, Snoop Dogg, of course, after beating Wayne Campbell, facing off Art the Clown after Art won a fatal four way elimination match last episode. And out of all of the men, I don't think I want to face Art the Clown. <laughs> Art is such a dangerous competitor in that ring. He's so unpredictable, and you never know what he's going to go for. And now Snoop Dogg is going to be in for the fight of his life. He's going to have the match of his life if he wants to win and retain his YouTube title. Here we go. Last match before the main event of the evening. Snoop Dogg, the D-O-W-G. Now, here we go. YouTube belt in the line. Art the Clown versus the champion Snoop Dogg. Can Snoop Dogg beat Art the Clown or not? Who knows? Now Snoop's thrown in the corner. Oh, nice shot of the back of Art the Clown. And Art's down. 
Now, oh, Snoop missed. No. Snoop, now here comes Art with the offense. Art biting at the head of Snoop. Oh, my God. And now the springboard bowled on by Art the Clown. Snoop Dogg right out of the way. Snoop. And Thomas draw. Off the ropes. Drop. Oh, big boot. Oh, neck up. Snoop has the arm. And knee drop right from the arm. Drop kick missed. Uh oh. Drop mid. Uh oh. Art. Shot counter by Snoop. That's good for Snoop. Springboard Moonstone connects. Snoop. Oh, he misses the knee drop. That is not good for Snoop. That's going to hurt. Art springboard. Misses though. But Snoop top rope. The champ high risk offense, maybe. Got the missile drop kick. And now thinking, no, I thought he was going for his skyrider, but no, right to the eyes of Art the Clown. Oh, but it needed right to the ribs by Art. Art though got caught. Snoop. Nice. I don't know what you call that, but that was a hell of a move by Snoop. Snoop Dogg. Sky! Rider to Art the Clown! Snoop the cover! To retain his belt, it's Art the Clown! No, Art's still in it. And now he's arguing with the official. Snoop fainted dog splash! Can he hit the dog splash? He got the dog splash! Somehow. I don't know how Art was somehow in kick out of that, but it did. Oh now gut shot, but Art countered by Snoop. Snoop is determined to retain his boat. Oh, wow, move by Snoop again. Snoop Grand Ward Moon Salt Moon home. That's trying to choke him out. He had biting at the hand again. Choking him out, trying to choke him out. And again, ref, you need to step in there and stop Earth before he chokes him out for real. And Snoop is down. Oh, twists his neck with his feet. Oh, kick to the head by Snoop. Going for a second Skyrider. And he got it again. Hated off this, one, two, no word again. Snoop going for a second, dog splash. And he's hit the dog splash again, the dog splash, the cover, one, two, got him, Snoop Dogg. He beats Art the Clown, retains the title. A huge win for the career of Snoop Dogg. A massive win for Snoop to retain his belt. And Snoop Dogg can say he's one of the only men in the company to beat Art the Clown. Well, from all of that, we move on to the main event of the evening. The World Championship is on the line. Scarecrow versus Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, I mean, he's fought tooth and nail to get this World Championship opportunity. He had it beforehand, but he was... He lost it because of all these challenges that Rhett McLaughlin had when he was champion. And then finally he got the shot when he beat Rhett McLaughlin in the episode after Rhett lost the world championship. Question is, can Sub-Zero do it? Can he defeat the champion Scarecrow? Or will Scarecrow, once again, find a way to beat someone that on paper looks better than him? Which, I mean, he did against Rhett McLaughlin. And who knows who's going to walk out of this as champion. Both men deserve to be a champion. Not just a champion, but a world champion. That is, if this darn thing's going to load for me, good God. There we 
we go. I have, there we go. There. Okay. I started to fix the headphones before I continue with this matchup here, I guess. And here we go. It's finally loaded. Now, here's our main event. Who's walking out with the title? The challenger Sub Zero, or is it the champion of fear, Scarecrow? Now, there's that fire, you know, that fire just comes out of nowhere. And Raph rang the bell for this world championship shot. And now Sub-Zero versus Scarecrow. Sub-Zero starting things off early with a bit back suplex slam. Kick missed and blocked by, Scar by Scarecrow and he tossed him away. Now trying to choke him out. And takes out the arm. And no, oh, nice reversal with a sweep away. And whoa, nice version of Spinal Tap there by Sub-Zero. And he just dropped, just dropped around the arm. And Frog Splash, no one home. And Vader right hand shot. And Roundhouse ducked by S Scarecrow. Sub-Zero striking, trying to unfold here, but Scarecrow keeps blocking it, and he keeps ducking it in all of this. And whoa, there goes the champ of the floor and Sub-Zero with the uh, suicide senton there. Oh, stop. And I love saying that, suicide senton. That was awesome. Two. And now Scarecrow's thrown to the floor. Three. As the army stomps on him, remember there is a... Uh, no title change if it ends via pinfall or disqualification. And here, oh, Sub Zero will be sent up for a kick or something, maybe perhaps out of the corner. Or he's just taunting him in the corner. I think he is. Yeah, he was. Oh, and he misses the forearm. Now up he goes. Sub Zero has them up. Scorp oh. Scorpion, no, it's Scarecrow. Scarecrow's able to get out of it. Now he's on the ropes. And Springboard got the bullet on out of nowhere. I don't know how he did. And now just, oh my god, stomps right the head of Sub Zero. And now a version of a claw hold. He's locked in tight. The big question is, can he get out of it? And he is, because that's not the, the fear claw hand of Scarecrow. Oh, and Sub-Zero again misses those, that forearm. And now that claw is locked in. It is big time locked in. And what happened? Was there a rope break or something? I don't know if there was or not, but oh my god, diving punch off the top rope. A cover. No kick out. Now, has the arm, drops it right out of the mat, and he's got an arm bar locked in. Striking and Sub-Zero taking out his body parts. Now from behind, the Irish Whip throws him onto the ropes. And drop gets Sub-Zero to the floor. And Sub-Zero waiting for him, or to say Scarecrow is now, they're both on the floor. Oh, there on the floor. Trying to get up. Oh, now a knee on the floor as well. This looks scarecrow back in the ring. This is going to be dangerous now that he's out on the top rope. Nope. And kick to 
the head. And now Scorpion that, oh, Roundhouse on the floor. And now another kick. Sub-Zero looking for something out of nowhere here on, oh, a power bomb to the ape, onto the apron, oh, tosses him right into the apron as well. Brutal. the question. If he can hit it, I think it's done. He's setting up for it. Oh no, we went for the, oh my god. And now knee, knee. Oh, big time shots. Oh god. Gonna try to choke him out. No surprise, Sub-Zero didn't go for that move, so. Try to choke him out as well. And now the moonsault. And it, now he did, he doesn't go for it. Whoa! Howard can run him. Sub Zero. Oh, Sub Zero's in trouble. Oh, the fair claw. That fair claw is applied. Can, can he get out of it? Can, can he get out of it? And oh! And Sub-Zero's passed out, and the champion is still Scarecrow. Scarecrow is still the world champion. The, the champion of fear continues his reign. Sub-Zero just hit the moonsault, and Scarecrow has beaten Sub-Zero. And I just want to put more of the fear claw in. My god. And there he is, the champion's got his belt again. lifts it above his head, the champion of fear. And now he's just, why, why does he always keep rubbing his head? And now he just throws it out in the air, my god. And the champion does his thing. No wonder he calls himself the champion of fear. He injects you with all that fear toxin and makes you so uncontrollable of yourself and everything. But the champ is still Starecrow. He is still the world champion, continuing his reign, beating Sub Zero, but making a pass out of the fear claw. Question is who's going to be his next challenger? We will find out next episode on Thursday Night's Warfare. Once again, back in the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. We will see you for that episode.